This video covers how farmers can benefit from commodity derivatives. Farming in India is fragmented, most farmers having very small land holdings. The small sizes means the quantity they grow is small and that in turn forces them to sell to the village level middleman, a farmer collective such as an FBO, Farmers Producers Organization, addresses this situation. FBO is a group of farmers who form a registered body with themselves as shareholders in it. FPO works for the benefits of the member farmers. FPOs work as aggregators and help the farmers and producers in getting farming inputs, in marketing their produce and in getting expert advice for better farm practices to improve the quality and yield. The Government of India provides tax and other advantages to the FPOs from time to time. A major risk farmers face is the risk of prices going down post harvest as sometimes prices go so low that the farmers cannot recover even their production cost. Hedging allows them to cover that risk either at the time of sowing itself or when the crop is ready. Farmers can hedge either by selling future contracts or by buying put options. Apart from financial security, hedging provides mental peace allowing the farmers to focus on their core activity, farming. Let's understand with an example. The farmer's total cost to produce one bag of chana, Bengal gram, is 100 rupees. Chana futures contract on the exchange around the time when its produce would be harvested is currently trading at 120 rupees per bag. So he sells chana futures at a price of 120 rupees, which means on a specific future date, he will send the bag of chana to the exchange and receive 120 rupees for it. By doing so, he is assured a profit of 20 rupees. But what if the market price of chana at the same time of harvest goes up beyond 120 rupees? The farmer loses the chance to make more money. However, he prefers the security and peace of mind the contract provides him. His expertise is farming and not financial speculation. If the market price of chana at the time of harvest drops from 80 or 90 rupees, the farmer is protected because he had logged in at a price of 120 rupees per bag. Exchanges also help farmers in making important decisions, such as what to sow. There are mainly two cropping seasons in India, Kharif and Rabi. During each season, a farmer chooses what to sow from between three or four crops. Looking at the exchange traded prices for the contracts, which are expiring around the time when his crop would be ready, may help him in making informed decisions on the choice of crops, which will give a better return of profit. When to sell? Exchanges provide both spot prices and future prices. By comparing spot prices and future prices, farmers can decide whether to sell as soon as the crop is ready or sell through the exchange after two to three months. How can farmers participate in exchanges? Farmers can participate in exchanges by registering as clients with the members of the exchange, either directly or by forming or joining FPOs. Exchanges also offer various stops to farmers participating on the exchange platform, such as concession to farmers and FPOs, reimbursement of expenses incurred, such as assaying charges, cleaning and sorting charges, delivery fees, etc. Facility of early pain whereby MTN margins do not become applicable, thereby reducing the cost of trading, concessional warehousing charges and concession in repository charges. Thanks for watching this video. For more information, email us on ask us at nctx.com or call us at 1-800-266-2339.